Good, good, good. All right. Uh, let's finish this up, shall we? <laughs> Welcome back to a new stream, everyone. What else do I need to do in this room? Can I... Okay, now. Yep, I got that. That's what it is. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Mia! Show You're alive! I'm Bryce. No, that's really Mia. Where's Miranda right now? Oh, cool! She's alive! God damn. It really is you. She's alive! Why, you me? why are you here? Yeah, why did they kill her? I was caught. Houston experiments. Oh. Oh, because she's part mold. Okay. In the flesh. What's the situation up there? That makes sense. I guess. Good enough excuse for me, I guess. Get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. Yeah, you we messed up, Chris. That you asked. We moved over here. Everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me. Where is my husband? Where is my hey. daughter? <laughs> well, you see, your daughter got caught in multiple pieces, and Ethan's heart got ripped out. I couldn't save him, but I can save Rose. Somehow. So I guess the Kaido thing is not. Oh, it's the Kaido. Oh, that's that's. Come on. That's uh, what's the name afterwards. they gave the the daughter, the original daughter. What that, do you mean the, the little gone. flesh thing is the um, what's her name? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. The only guy from Spanish flu, the we original have to daughter. This village. That, that's no. what the fleshling is. Okay. You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but you don't understand how special he is. I guess he's part old too, and everything. That's like put his arm back together and stuff, so he's probably immortal. That's my guess. Chris Redfield. All right, cool. <sighs> Just gotta put some juice in the heart, put it back up together, sew it up, all good. How did you even sew it up even? You can close it and sew itself up, so. What's going on? <laughs> Uh, so it's there. Uh, Hello. It's cold. I have no weapons. Okay. Wow, we're being this game tonight, everyone. <laughs> How did I get here? God, freeze! Uh, uh, Yay! This shit. My body. You're cold because you're dead. Oh, you know what? I remember because this makes more sense to you and since everything. I did kind of say, like, isn't he part mold the whole time? Because uh, Lady D, when he tasted my blood, was like, oh, I'm tainted blood, as if it was like going out soon because I'm dead. Basically, I'm dead. I'm basically a human zombie. Oh, Evelyn. Oh, from the Fari 7. Ari Seven, Evelyn. Oh, hi. Dad. Hello. Uh, I mean, Miranda. She. Uh, no. I still have to save Rose. Uh. Wrong. It wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still. Uh, See, Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt? Remember. Yeah, RE7, you had Grandpa like literally kick me in the face, right? Like that's what happened, then I died there. Is that the idea? Yeah, okay, yeah. Three years ago, the Baker House. You. Oh, okay. Literally, when he stepped on me, I was using an example getting hit. You died. <laughs> Is it literally that's what happened? Okay. 
So he died there, and then we got the juices back together. He woke up in the family that's, house that's and everything. Impossible. Got it. No way. He shouldn't even be able to walk around. These are moldy. We got all the mold in her blood and everything. You shouldn't be walking. Bro, you! I mean, we actually killed you, though. What? 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 You're moldy, boy. You're made out of mold. I, I, I did all that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you literally put your arm together with like miracle juice. It makes sense to me. Yeah. I. Guess what's obvious, Ethan. That was a nice slide in the texture there. The little mud slide there. Oh. Oh, he's turning into multi boy. How do you get it? My mold powers are powers are activating. Body is nothing but mold. <laughs> <laughs> you can't ever see your family again. Family. Family. I mean, why can't I? Can does not be moldy dad? Rose. Can I just be moldy dad? Save my daughter. Yeah. So is my daughter also part mold? I mean, yeah. technically, I always thought uh, Mia was also part mold because then she also she died multiple times. You know, it's the same mold. I, I will save Rose. <sighs> Okay, let's do that. Uh, Is it Duke? We're in at Duke's. Last, you yeah. Wait. Hi, Duke. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke's kind of like a half mass salesman in the sense of being Your like. battle with Heisenberg was a sight. Higher dimensional, I guess. You know. Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and am already on the way. <laughs> That's actually kind of sweet. She arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. Yeah, I literally don't have a heart in me anymore, right? Yes. Foolish of me to ask. I like Duke a lot. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> he's not gonna answer. Even I can't quite answer that. I originally assumed he was gonna be like another lord, but he's I guess my mind the whole time We're kind here. of thing. I don't know. He's interesting. I owe you one. Mr. Winters. I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Okay, so yeah. do I? I have to be. There's a lot of insinuations of this. Does Ethan die at the end of this, or like turn into the mold at the end, or something like that? I gotta go. I feel like that's kind of what they're insinuating. How's my health? We're fine. Okay, cool. Wonderful. Uh, Moldy trees. Little Ava. Let's see, one, two, three. I think it is eight. Okay. Daughter. I think it is eight, right? Come to me. Is it six or eight? I can't tell. Some angles look like eight, some angles look like six. I'm pretty sure it's eight. Ava. Is that you? My baby! Oh. My oh, baby. It's alive. You. Put back together with all the juices. I mean, it's moldy juice this time, but you know. What? Ava, that was the... My power is leaving me! Rose! <laughs> Miranda! Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. 
Give Rose to me. Now! You will see. Once I kill you properly, every- oh. Now! <laughs> okay, Chris. <laughs> And you try to take it away from me. Well, wow, Chris has shot her mid monologue. What is due. Oh, that's pretty, actually. I know it's gross, but it's also really pretty. My desires I like that. Will be fulfilled. No. Rose is mine! What the fuck? We can't choose like a Solomon situation where you can just cut the baby in half and know both part? No? Okay. Ooh. You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. You disposed of my false children. Is this working? I don't know. Glorious Megamice. Ooh, you're dancing. Now, please do not Ooh. worry the little ones. Oh, okay. I assure you I'll provide her with truly happiness. Can I, uh... Push comes to shove? Oh, I got nothing. Well, this is be fun. How's my heart pumping? I have no heart. You hear the heart pumping noises? Yeah, I got no heart. How's that happening? Ooh. Oh. Okay, we did pretty good though. Rose is truly mine. Your time is up. Now die. Those forms. They could do nothing to assuage my years of loneliness. Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? You're not capable of real love. Ooh. I have one more, right? I thought I had one more. Okay, shoot. Okay, well. My wish will come true. Alright. Uh, right, we wanted to start off with a grenade launcher because that was nice. We did a lot of damage with that. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megamites. We're all good. Everything's fine. Feel the Dark God's wrath! <laughs> Cease! Yeah, that I works so well. With a my daughter will be made manifest at last! I've waited a century. A century! All for this day! Yum yum plasma! All the fiery molten juices! You still see. I've never seen a human live without his heart. Are you sure? Well, I do have a moldy heart pumping in my body! Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't like that. Don't like that. Can't see you. Oh, rest. The hell I will. Die, 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 die. Unlimited power. <laughs> Here I come. Thank you for letting me know. Impudent. Oh, okay. Okay. Different. Different. To ensure I never see your face. Hey. Good stuff. Shoot. Oh, she was not liking that. My daughter! My Eva! Okay, it was six. It looked like eight sometimes. I don't know why. So it was a Seraph reference. Okay. I do like the idea of <laughs> Resident Evil 8. That's why it's eight wings. Oh, wow. Okay. That was daytime? It was nighttime when we started that fight. <gasps> oh, you're in. Oh, hi! Rose! Back together. Make sure all your limbs are back together. Hi, baby! It's all, it's all right, Rose. 
It's Aww. all right. It's so sweet. We got our baby back. Oh. It's because I mold too. Is that the source of the mold? Is that the idea? Oh, Ethan's gonna die. Okay. Saving the baby. Bring it back to Mia, and then they'll grow up and have that. Yep, Ethan. all nine lips. <laughs> Come on, Ethan, wake up. Yeah, it just yeah, it was kinda interesting with the aiming with the We're doing the aim in order to reload. That's kinda of a weird choice. He did it. It's finished. Yes, all nine lips. It's finished each other. A little centipede baby. Ethan. We gotta move. So why did our one hand fall apart? Is it because that was the hand that got cut off originally? Oh, that looks flushy. <laughs> okay. Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Me is waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Oh, man. Wait, so can I live without the mold? I'm so sorry. Oh, Ethan's gonna you. keep us safe. Is Ethan gonna like? Hey. Okay. Can you tell yourself? Now, oh, come on, it's not that much further. Oh, watch over her. Teach her to be strong. That's sweet. Is he the guy dying? Oh! Great moldy timing right there. Oh, I have the trigger. Okay, so I had to walk up and blow up my crazy kamikaze into the heart of the moldy thing. Is that the idea? Can I just blow up from here, though? Would that be fine? I don't know. It seems weird. It works. Ethan was a character. Although, if he's technically immortal, I wonder if he will come back then. I guess I'm gonna say he dies in this game, and then he might come back in the future in some shape or form. It's kind of weird they had two games in a row with with a main character being the same main character. They don't usually do that for Resident Evil. Okay. You never see what happens. Ethan could still be alive. Rose. I'm sure it's me is alive. That was not what I expected. Go. Go, take us up now. Oh, that was really sweet. Okay. Wait. Where's Ethan? Oh, it's gonna explode now. Where is Ethan? Yeah, move. <laughs> We right. have to get clear. That's what's gonna no. happen. Yeah. We can't go, not without my husband. Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? Man, Chris is so bad at explaining things. Communication, Chris, is key. Also, there goes Ethan. Okay, rest in peace. You could come back in a different game as like a big old moldy person. What was that? Or should be the main villain in another game. Down. I don't know. Or he's dead forever. Where is he? Where's Where is Where's 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 gonna go after this then? If what have curious. you done? He's gone. I mean, Ari Four right. coming out. He stayed so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bio weapon. The hell were they thinking? Oh. Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. That's a zombie zombie. Plot okay. Of for BSAA Europe HQ. Someone's got to pay. Okay. 
Not sure what all that means yet. <laughs> That's a big baby. That looks pretty clean for being just blown up to smithereens. Alright, there's Resident Evil 7. Hey, the book in the beginning. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, I had fun playing this game. I know I had a lot of gripes with, like, getting lost the whole time. Weird glitches occasionally, but sometimes for the better. <laughs> eight inch, yes. I always like to say Bill and then have the eight and then GE. <laughs> This music's pretty cool. There's the bat for a lady. This is very, um... Uh... Who's the guy? Who did in Nightmare Before Christmas, uh... One of the Batman movies. What's his name? I forgot his name. It's his style. So. I can't think of names half the time. There's Monroe. Tim Burton, thank you. Yes, that's just like, yeah, Tim Burton. There's many eyes. It's very, like, off style from Resident Evil, but I really like this. I mean, we could have a whole game with just this style. I know there's probably a few of them, but, like, look at this quality, it's pretty cool. Horses, um, and row then. That makes sense with the horseshoe metal. Okay. And there's, uh. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more, in turn, is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father Her fought parents. the witch. Oh, this, they're tell touch this is their talent. This is the story to, uh. But they're the telling Rose this, and right? Father yelled, Save our daughter. So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Ah, okay. This Even is Mia. now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hello, I'm pretty sure it's a post credit scene after this one, too, if I remember correctly. I remember what people have told me. Lead artist, environment artist. Look at all these people working on this game. The environment was actually probably the prettiest thing with this game, too. I really love the environment in this game a lot. Like, there's some parts where it's, like, just going out and just seeing, like, the, like, you know, the, uh, like, the bricks and the ruins and the snow and all that stuff. Like, it had, it was just really nice, like, they did a really good job with it. Lighting is really nice in this game. 3D scan studio. <laughs> graphic designers. Graphic design artists. RE engine staff. Yeah, UI programmers too. Yeah, they got a lot of. Like, it's always like a movie. You know, you have so many people working on this stuff. And now just kind of like touching into the industry a little bit more. Like, you definitely see why you have so many people work on stuff like this, you know? I always feel like a passion of mine to like make indie games where at least it's me or me and a couple other people. Um, I think I definitely have the skill set to at least be part of things like this, you know. So I think it's cool that I've gone to that point where I can like, hey, I know how they did these textures and stuff and things like that, you know. So 
yeah, pretty game. It was really fun. The gameplay is really fun. Getting lost is a little frustrating. There's some pretty fun glitches. Story pacing is a little fast. Character design was cool. I really like the characters in this game. They think with RE7. I think they're doing a really good job making characters. Even they're like hammy and silly and stuff. I like the characters a lot. The environments are great. So I think overall it's a good game. For sure. I think it was definitely a cool iteration on six, oh yeah, on 7. Because 7 was such a big push. Especially compared to like the atrocity of RE6. So... I'd be curious if they were going to make a remake of RE5 then, you know, once they make a remake of RE4. The factory area was really cool. Yeah, I there was just a lot of nice aesthetics to it. And everything had a touch of, like, what, like, made Heisenberg, you know. I actually think the factory and the, um, and Lady D's castle are both really cool. I feel like the other two lords were just really short. Like, they they went by really fast. I Not that this is a long... Not that this is a short game, per se. I mean, Resident Evil games tend to be a bit shorter, because they start to use you, like, play it again on timers and stuff like that. They always have, like, kind of speedrunning communities of Resident Evil games. But... There are parts of it that felt more rushed than others. I think they could have balanced that out a little bit better. Like making... If they made uh, Minrose and... Um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Donna's... Area's a bit more, like, fleshed out and bigger. I think that'd be cool. You know? Like, the scariest part was Donna's with the big old baby chasing you. But even then, like, it despawned pretty fast. It was a very short part of the game. I feel like they, like, made a whole, like, area where, like, they made like, a free roam around it, but more. Like they had for Lady D. I think that would have been really cool. And I don't know. I, I think they just needed more for the fish area, too. Mermaid Man, Monroe. But yeah, no. The, the first area and the last area were really good. Which, you know, those are the parts you need to focus on the most, you know? So it makes sense. That it have more like love into those. Looking more at all these uh, background stuff. I I think there is a a uh, post credit scene. I get that in the corner. Oh, I was not paying attention. Did, were the pictures on the right side changing? Oh yeah, they are. Okay. Hey, there's uh, the uh, the mold fetus. Okay, you you see you saw like right away, even after the trailer, people fell in love with some of the characters right away. like um Lady D, outside the perversion aspect of people like kind of fanning over her. Uh she's a cool character. Like there's there's something about her in just in the sense of like being an empowered woman like that. Where I was like a villain but very motherly. Uh, it was a cool, unique kind of character you don't really see as often, I feel. So I think they did a, they did a good job with that, you know? Yeah, I think her and Eisenberg are probably the best two for that. I, I think Donna's backstory seemed really cool. I wish I knew more about it. Monroe is interesting. <laughs> I like Monroe's voice. I like the design of his, like, monster form. And his, uh, confidence issues were interesting. Okay, here we go. There's the book! Oh, is this Rose grown up? Do you think the little boy Yeah, I bet it's Rose grown up. But he can touch the moons too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Oh no, that's is that Mia there? Okay, then you that was like Mia. Your butt, it'd be very, very cold. Wait. Or is the little girl there, Mia? Or is the girl there Mia? You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think that Mia. 
Okay, no. It just looked like Mia. That, I get confused there. I don't think that was Mia. But I think it was Rose. Carrying flowers, which are not roses. I think I went too on the nose. Hey, Dad. Yeah, okay. Happy birthday. Oh, that's sweet. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. Oh, military. I'd probably keep an eye on her to make sure she's not moldy, because apparently she's super powerful. Duty calls. <laughs> she could be like a psychic, so she's probably the protagonist of RE9 then, right? That'd be cool. Yeah, I found her. Why do have like mold psychic Perhaps. powers? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, Evelyn. Evelyn? Don't you oh. ever call me that again? Whoa. Whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. I call her Evelyn because she has Evelyn psychic powers. Is that the Stand idea? Down. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. She's just a kid. <sighs> okay, so she she us. is. That suggests that she's psychic, like Evelyn was then, right? You're a lot like him, you know. Who are you? You're like your father. Ethan never met you, as far as I'm aware. So okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess probably met between whatever, because Chris always kept an eye on them, so it's probably the idea, but like, I feel like there's no connection there because I've never seen that character before. But okay. Cool. Okay. RE9, Rose's main character with psychic powers? That'd be cool. That's my 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 guess. Person walking up, up there. Did the car stop for the person up there? Hmm, okay. A father's story is now done. Now play the game again faster! With all your weapon upgrades! Yeah, there we go. Twelve and a half hours? I played a long time, okay. Village of Shadows added. Cool. I remember correctly, I've seen people's, some people play and stuff like that. Um, the more you play, you have more, like, silly weapons you get. You get, like, the um, Wolfsbane with infinite ammo. Uh, I read online you get a lightsaber if you, like, master a lot of stuff in this game, which is hilarious. Alright, cool. This was fun. We beat the whole game. I didn't expect to beat it tonight. Thanks yeah, so for watching. Uh, play some more games tomorrow. See you guys then. Have a good one. Bye-bye.